welcome. Today guys I want to make the awesome tahina and this is a version of the chopped up one. So I'm just going to call out my ingredients. Here I have two cups of flour here, a cup of grind dal, a half a cup of green seasoning, you'll need some oil to fry, one cup of water here, two grains of garlic which I grated, one lime, two teaspoon of yeast, half a teaspoon of turmeric, a, te a teaspoon of bacon soda, a teaspoon of jira, and this is ground jira roasted. Here I have here a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, and you will need some dashing bush leaves or spinach leaves, also called taro leaves. So, what you want to do is cut the lime. And put this in your dashing bush and I did take all the stem of the dashing bush because you will not need the stem of the dashing bush so I squeeze it in and what you want to do is just squeeze it in and you will need a line for this because the baji will scratch your tongue you're just going to do this for about a minute and then you want to wash it out and place it into another bowl once you finish with your baji you're going to squeeze out the water and this is how it should look so now i'm just going to add my grinder And get your hands in there and massage it and break up all that little leaf of baji still. Next you want to go ahead Your yeast, your turmeric powder, or saffron powder, as we call it in Trinidad, the sugar, the garlic, salt, the jira, the cumin. And bacon powder. Just give that a mix to combine. I'm gonna go ahead and add some dry ingredients. Next, I'm gonna add some water to this with the rest of the dry ingredients. I'm going to turn the seasoning now. And I'm looking for a nice thick butter, a nice smooth butter. Just keep kneading it, and you want to let this sit for about a half an hour to 45 minutes until it's double its size mm. once you finish mixing just cover it you could use a plastic wrap paper towel um you could use a cloth anything you have and just cover it and let it just sit there until it's ready to fry Oil has heat up for five minutes, so just gonna test the oil. And you don't want the sahina on high heat, gonna lower it down. 
because they don't want the Sahina to burn, they want it to cook all the way through. So my Sahina, this little one here, stay about three minutes to cook. So what you're gonna need is some paper towel to put your Sahina in and you're also gonna need a strainer spoon and you're gonna need some water to put your hand in because your hand gonna be very sticky so what you wanna do now is you're gonna take some and place it into your oil like that and if you don't want to use your hands for this you can always use a ice cream scoop or a spoon but I find it more better doing it with my hand and you can make this how big you want it because you can't make it too small at the same time because you need to cut it inside to put the chutney in yeah so I'm just going to leave this let it get a little brown and then I'm going to turn this I'm gonna flip them over and you just want to be careful before you're breaking the it and let it fry on the next side for about five minutes and why I have my Fine for a little longer because I have my stove on low. That way to burn. When you know, it's finished cooking, just gonna place it into my bowl with line with paper towel. And I want to move on onto the rest. Just going to turn that. you enjoyed today's beautiful recipe of my Sahina chapter version and you could always like and share this video and comment and let me know what you think about it so thanks for watching me in the kitchen today so this is my Sahina what I opened and showed you guys until we meet again bye